You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Thanks for stopping by today. I appreciate it. Hopefully you are enjoying all of the vintage toys I have been showing you. And games, by the way. Well, this takes it to a new category. This is a vintage toy, but it's also a musical instrument. It is called the Fisher Price Crazy Combo Horn Set. And from this particular position, it does not look like much. Let me turn it around. This gives you all of the information you will need to determine. Yes, this is an interesting looking musical instrument. Let's see. Message to parents. Making music is a lots is lots of fun, especially with the Fisher Price Crazy Combo Horn Set. Your child can make both realistic and creative musical wind instruments by connecting the pieces in a variety of ways. Children may be interested in making the recorder on which they can play songs using an eight-note scale, an uh, eight-note musical scale, by holding the instrument as illustrated below. There you go. Helpful hint to play a scale: start with the fingers placed over the holes as illustrated. Take a deep breath. Then, with a relaxed, continuous breath, blow evenly while lifting each finger up one at a time until all holes are open and eight notes have been played. The holes are all open for the eighth note. And then you see on the right side here uh, all the different combinations. But, you know, as a toy, I'm sure you can do more combinations. To play a kazoo, blow and hum at the same time. To clean the kazoo, white mouthpiece with damp cloth. Do not immerse in water. This is from... 1984 so it's pretty close to being a vintage toy and it's number 604 all right i bet you want to see inside now i've done some tentative cleaning and i have my camera way up high so we can get a good look at all of the cool pieces inside here and by the way when this is closed and you're trying to get to your pieces you can't see the instructions so here i scan and printed up a nice large version for us so here we go this is my crazy combo horn Ooh. now if i had a horn sound well let me tell you now you know i am not a wind instrument player i am a drummer percussionist not too into playing wind instruments but i can at least show you this toy and everything it does all right so nicely laid out all the pieces that are in there basically what I think I will do is I will start with the simplest one and work my way all the way up to what looks to be the one man band. All right, here we go. So kazoo is this piece, okay? And then this piece, and I move this over, it'd be easier for me to reach. And you put this onto this, and then they slide on really nice. It's got little stars and stripes around it. It actually is a nice heavy duty plastic back then you know, that's what they were using. All right, so it says, to play a kazoo, blow and hum at the same time. All right. Okay, so what can I do? I can do it. One thing I know is jingle bells, so let's try that. Makes an okay sound, so... You definitely don't want to put this in water because usually there's a paper piece that's in there. All right, so there is the number one instrument. All right, so let's try the slide whistle. I think that's probably the next one that interests me that's in the smaller build here. So we need this and this. Okay, so just attach that. Let's see, it's got some writing on 1983 Fisher Price. Division of the Quaker Oats, 604. All right. Okay, now I have professional slide whistles, so I'm not expecting this to sound overly professional, but for a little kid playing with it back in the 80s, probably was a lot of fun. All right, here we go. Okay, ear piercing to say the least. All right, so this is the second iteration. Now, let's see. You go from that probably to the recorder would be the next one. So I'm going to need this, and I'm going to need these two pieces here, this one 
and this one okay so they show this on this all right and then this on this it looks like it's lined up like that all right now here's where it says i need to place my fingers let's see left hand on one two three now i put my thumb right on this white tab my right hand is four five six seven so all of these fingers are now on there take a deep breath here we go then with the relaxed continuous breath blow evenly while lifting each finger up one at a time so i'm going to lift the seventh finger right for the right hand is open and then by the time i'm done all of the fingers will be open starting with the seventh finger which is the right hand pinky here we go So yes, you could definitely play anything musical on this because you have eight notes. So that worked pretty good. Now I'm out of breath. All right, let's see. I say the saxophone would be the next one, but it just looks like a version of the recorder. So let's put that on there. Let's angle it this way so they're out just like that. Let's put this up here. And then this is going to come out here. Oops. Okay, and then this is going to go on here. I'm not putting too much pressure on these, but we do want to make sure there is no air releasing. Okay, that looks like that. The saxophone. Let's see if I can get the same notes that I got before if we get a different sound. Here we go. I'm hearing like air escaping. I'm not getting the same sound. Here, here's open. Here's all my fingers on again. I'm not getting the same consistency as I did with the last one. All right, pretty cool. All right, let's move. We've done this, we've done this, we've done this, we've done this. Let's do this horn spinach using some of the same pieces here. Okay, but this is added. I'm taking out this center section, okay, and then they want this connected to this. Oh, they have it the other way. Let me disconnect that there. This like this, then this, and then this. Okay, so basically I'm blowing in this end, and this should spin. And it does. Let's see if I could extend it out now just a little bit and show you what's going on. I'm not sure if this will actually work. Let's see if I can. Oh, I can't extend it that way. I could extend it this way. No, nope, that won't work. Let me try reversing the flow. Put this. Let's just see. It's time to experiment now. There is. Let's see, let's get one of these. Okay, that's further down that way, but it looks like that the mouthpiece will not work in this direction. Let me just blow on the end here and see. <sighs> nope, okay. So as a kid, I would say that was a fail. So basically, let me hook that back together. This, this to this. Basically, that's all I can do really to show you that. I'll do it one more time. You hear it spitting at a high revolution there. It's pretty cool. Okay, let's try the last one, and then I'll play a little bit more. My fail was just happening there. All right, so let's do this here. So this is like this. I'm on this one here. This is on one of the ends. This is on the other end. Okay. 
And then I have this going this way. The slide whistle on this side. Okay, that looks like that. And then the horn on the bottom. All right, let's see what we get now. So basically it's a recorder on one side and a slide whistle on the other. All right, so let me try the slide whistle with this. So it is working as far as blowing out. Oh, wait a minute, does this fit in there? Oh, it does. Wait a minute. Okay, hold on a second. And then this is the recorder side. Uh, it does appear that it, a smaller face needs to fit in here. So you probably could extend this out and then it'd be easier to play. Let's see. Yeah, much easier. Very interesting. All right, so we have learned about it. I have tried all of the instruments and I think I want to try a few more things. Let's see if we could take this into this. I wonder if they purposely made it so you can do that. Now I get the mouthpiece on this. Let's just see if we get too much air releases. Ooh, that is ear piercing. All right, let's try this extended piece onto this. I can't see why I should not be able to get that to work. Hmm, so when you just blow in directly, you get that, but it's just not enough air pressure escaping. Let me try covering this hole. Okay, so you get a different sound altogether, and now you can see that. All right, let's just see. Can you use every piece with the kit in some crazy way? Let's see. Let's just build one giant instrument. So these kind of, let's move this one up. Let's put the kazoo here. Okay. And we'll have to put a mouthpiece here. The only thing I think will be, this will be the trouble. All right, so now I have this, and then I can take my kazoo horn and wait you could do this yes to this all right i've used every piece now that to me looks like a crazy instrument check that out all right what sounds are we gonna get i don't know let's see let's try our slide whistle recorder Wow, that works. All right, kazoo. Now I'm gonna just blow through it and see if we can get that to spin. No, because there's air leaking out here. That spins nice, see that? Let me do it again. Okay, I am a one person band all right so that is one iteration of a crazy horn i agree let's just see now without this centerpiece one long one crazily long instrument like this look at that bring that to the next band rehearsal let me cover all the holes as many as i can Now, I will not be able to get that to spin because there's just too many things to cover to get the full air pressure. If I take that off, I can block these two back holes here, and I should be able to get that to spin again. So that works pretty good. Now there's not much more. That's got to end with something. So I think, I mean, I'm sure there's more iterations you can do. You can do a slide whistle like that. Check that out. Mm -hmm. All right, 
I don't know what I'm doing there. Hopefully you got that. Hopefully the camera picked most of that up anyway and you saw all the different spinning parts. Well, you can just keep going with different connections, making all kinds of crazy instruments. Well, you can make this even longer now by doing that. Check that out. It's the super duper slide whistle recorder. Now presenting someone who does not know how to play a wind instrument. Woo! All right. Let's see. Let's get it back in here. I'll end with that. Okay, this was here. This double piece was here. Okay, my two. Well, this recorder kind of made its way here like this. I guess you can go either direction. It doesn't really matter. And then this was here. This piece fit nicely here. The slide whistle was down in this area. Ooh, this way, I think. Yep. And then I have this yellow piece. And then I don't think it matters which is which and go either here or there. They don't actually show you an original picture, which I could probably Google. Well, there you go. What do you think? The Fisher Price Crazy Combo Horn Set. Hope you enjoyed the video. I had fun showing you all the different options. And there's more. You could probably do different things with it. And that's the whole cool part about it. And thanks for watching. Let me know in those comments if you're enjoying all these cool vintage toys and musical instruments. Later! If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh yeah, please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up!